Hello everyone, it's Misty with Unique Treasures by MJ. And the M and the J is Misty and Joyce. Joyce is my mom. And I'm happy to be here. Another wonderful Saturday. Tomorrow's Mom's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. I am going to uh, do the index, altered index uh, video like I promised. However, I just have to do it a little differently. I just felt like I was never going to get it out if I didn't go ahead and do it this way. Because I don't know how to edit yet and I'm working on it, I have to stop, start all over every time I feel I'm, I mess up or I get interrupted or something like that. So right now I'm by myself and the phone is on do not disturb. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump in. I want to talk to you about uh, the, a couple different ways of doing things. So most of the things that I bring to you coming from now forward is gonna be uh, either to show you like, for example, here is a store-bought index card. And you can actually open up this one. Some of them aren't like this, you know, the ones that are uh, office made are not usually like this, from my experience, I should say. And this one here, I got these from Tuesday morning and I don't know if they have any more of them or not. I, I had these for a while and they have, you know, design inside um, you know two different designs and of course I I usually choose this side because I'm a flower nut I, I love beautiful things like this um, however there's another way of getting your um, altered index card if you have file folders and you can um, do something as simple as trace it or if you're better than me you just go ahead and you know cut it and you know cut cut off what you envision is <laughs> is uh, an altered index card. So this is where I would cut it here. And actually, I probably would just come across here because I didn't even notice there's a little flap here. And then I would turn that over and use that flap. So this is the way it would be, um, like so. And then it would just look like that. And it would be cut, this would not be left here. Okay, so I hope I didn't confuse you. So if I did, let me go ahead and I'm, I was gonna tear that cause I will just, I love tearing things up and, and using them. Um, but cause I can basically tear a cut and just create something from it because that's how open my mind has come uh, since I started this journey. And so here you go. Here's your altered index card now. And, and I can literally even use this one that's a little bent up. And ta-da, there it is. And of course I would even the edges here. And now you have it. So I went ahead and did one and I actually did a video on decorating it with you, but again, I kept getting interrupted or something happened or I didn't know to put my phone on do not disturb because I'm still new to the YouTube experience. And here is the one I decorated. And it's the same thing as this. I just made it out of the same thing. And there's the back and here's the front, and it's an altered index card. And what's really funny, I have to point this out to you because this is, this is really funny. So this woman here, this is on vellum. So my mom, Joyce, she decided that she was gonna try print on vellum and it turned out really pretty. You know, there's a bunch of these ladies on this site that we uh, purchased things off of. And so it, they turned out super pretty. However, what I did not notice is that she's kind of nude. And I put it on here and it says nectar. And you know, then I just started grabbing things from the side of my desk, whatever was here, not whatever, cause there's a lot of stuff. I just grabbed some of the stuff randomly, you know, fabric, fabric back here. Um, what is this? This is uh, not fabric. This is just a ripped paper and I dyed it with ink. This is a, just a cutout. And here's a little uh, fairy that I just stuck on there. This is fabric, and this is on a roll that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, this particular thing back here. Uh, this was off a, uh, just a long piece of, it was like trim that has several of these attached, the little blue thing here I'm pointing to. And so I just kind of stuck all them, and then I said, oh, well, you know, I, I'm gonna sew around her. So I went back and did that. I sewed around her and then I sewed it shut. Then I chose just to put on here. And I'm kind of like, I don't know, 
Thoughtless is a negative word, but really I'm kind of thoughtless when I do things. I don't have a plan. I just know that I'm going to do this. I'm going to do an, an index card and so that I can do it on a video and here, this is what it turned out. So then I go and grab this book that has all these little sayings, marriage, I, you know, just several different things. And I, and I ripped out marriage and I stuck it on here and that's what it was. So I'm like, okay, it's random. Everything's random. You got a fairy, you got kind of a partial naked woman here. You got butterflies, fabric, whatever. And so that's why I just put, it's all perspective. That's where that came from. Well, then I read this after I had it all together. The sanctity of the institution of marriage and the home shall be upheld. Pictures shall not infer that low forms of sex relations are accept or the accepted or common thing. Anonymous motion picture code, March 31st, 1930. How funny is that? A picture of a naked woman, and that's what it's talking about. Well, <laughs> take what you want, leave the rest, right? I think it's still kind of cool. Uh, it's it's funny that that happened because I certainly didn't mean for that to happen. But there, there you go. You can make your own. You don't have to um, do one that's uh, store bought. Okay. So the other thing I want to share with you is I got an alternate index card from somebody in one of my groups that we swap with, and I just thought this was pretty unique. In fact, this is going in my RV and up front somewhere. I'm going to affix it. I don't know if I'm going to put it in a frame covering it with glass yet, you know, a thicker one. I'm not sure yet, but I know that of all the things I've received, this is so cool to me, and I just knew that this belonged in my RV. So when I travel, I can look at it, and it says brave because I am pretty brave. I drive my RV. I do, you know, the maintenance on my RV. I back my RV up. I tow a car with my RV. Um, that's just the deal. I love it. I love all that. And even with my illness, I still am able to do it. I may do things a little slower, uh, but with fibromyalgia, you know, you have good days, good, bad days, but I can, I can pretty much figure out how to um, do that stuff, right? When I need to, if you have to, you have to. So it says brave, buttons, blessed. Um, this, I don't know if you can see that little jar was in there, um, but it's a, it's a bunch of little beads that you can actually string. And this actually looks like the container, um, where did I just put that uh, at? The container that if you buy the glitter glue, you know, this art glitter glue, <laughs> This comes in a container just like that. This is the tip for that art glitter glue. So I think that's what that is. And But look at this. This is so cool. She's got three layers here. One paper and two with aluminum foil with a cutout of that bird. I just thought that was pretty creative and I love it. So kudos to her. All right. So now for the final thing. Ta-da! I was going to decorate this and do this with you. However, I kept getting bleepers and blunders. And so I finally just, and it's not this, it, it's all, I, I, I won't get into what it was specifically, except for tell you that it's all the camera up here. And I got great, great, great news. I am getting a webcam today. Yay! And it is coming. And actually, it should be at my door any minute. So it will be a little different situation and I will be able to have the little um, window um, in the corner and also you see the hand. So and I can talk to you and you can kind of see me and feel like we're more part of here. Um, so here is the uh, kind of almost finished product. Uh, the last ones I did for the swap had um, lace on the bottom here and you know, it was a couple, a little different setup. But what I wanted to show you was how you can do, um, you know, a, you, a, I did a cutout. I'm, I did a boo-boo on this and you're gonna see it. And I'm gonna show you what I made out of that boo-boo though. Um, so I did, I did a cutout with this die cut out of this here. This, let me set it down, see if you can get it better. Uh, the spell binders. And it's uh, this one here, it is, um, Let's see, Spellbinder is Amazing Paper Grace, Cut Emboss Stencil, Cascading Grace, um, that's what it says, and in, in the corner here it's S is in Sam 6-045, and it comes with one, two, three, four, five things. So, but I love this. 
Now, if you don't have a die cut machine, I'm sure that if you're crafting, you have shapes. So you can definitely use different shapes. So I did die cut around here. It's harder to see in this particular one that I did because I chose paper that wasn't a really big contrast um, like I did last time. And so, but this is raised and this is raised. This is one piece of something that was just continuously long uh, for a border, they're border pieces. And I cut it and it says Sweet Life and it's got little birdies and stuff as you see. And I used those tabs, those square tabs, and I had everything together to do this video. And now my square tabs, I must have walked off with them. But they're the little square tabs. Sorry, I have to quickly stand up and check and see because I don't know why they're not right here. I've been trying to make sure I've been so prepared for you guys. Here we go. They were here. The little square tabs like these. And I want you to see these, not just talk about them, because some people don't know. Um, and I actually cut them in half for the smaller things so I can utilize them more and, you know, like they can last longer. And I like to raise things up and have dimension. So that's, this was a lot of fun. Um, this was just a little bow that my mom uh, made with her new little die cut thing. And, you know, I just took this one and kind of I should have probably did one in a different color, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you guys different things that you can do. A little butterfly. Last time I had little danglies down here. It was a swap that I did, so every time I refer to last time or you know uh, the other one with the lace, and those were other ones I've done. And I am learning the software to my Mac computer right now because it is supposed to have excellent editing software. So as we go along, you're gonna start seeing these videos really improve that way uh, because um, I want to be able to show you guys different things and you know be a more effective. In the meantime, I am talking to beginners. I, I want to share with you ideas and things that you can do. So again, if you don't have this little, um, you know, the little die cut machine, you can use shapes in place of them so like the I had the like little shape in my hand a second ago uh, that was uh, that I did cut out and I was going to show you my boo-boo and what you could do with it. So this is the actual shape that was cut out on the other side to bring the birds up and out. And so this here um, was a big boo-boo because I did it on the wrong side. So what I because the tab was on the wrong side. So I didn't want to just flip it over like this because guess what? It was a different pattern and I didn't want that pattern. So what I did was do this and I decided just to put this purple paper back here because it's an index card, remember? So it's not going to matter that that's there. And here you can put, I left it blank for a reason, you can put a stamp that it created by, uh, created with love by, you can put a message, a handwritten message here. You can put a recipe here, you know, a little cute recipe card showing here. Um, there's several different options, as you can imagine, um, to do here. Oh, look, I got a sparkly. So this is um, the, the finished product so far um, on this one. And I just wanted to show you guys the altered index card, as I promised and said. So I got a lot more things coming up. Crunchy paper, a different way of making journal covers more than just uh, vintage and you know shabby chic we got a lot going on here at unique treasures by mj so stay tuned and please subscribe that's super important uh, to help me know that you guys are enjoying what you're seeing thanks have a great evening and happy mother's day